Gabby take our boots off at Grandma's house. It looks like Grandma is looking at new carpet samples. Hey! Does she have her Christmas tree up? And I have present. Maybe we should get her a present to put under her tree. I had some stuff I was doing today, so I told my mom I would come up and see her, and I told her I would bring her lunch, and I called her and I told her I was on my way, and she said, I'm gonna go get you lunch. <laughs> so I told my mom I'd bring her lunch, but she went to go get us lunch, so I think she should be back house. any minute. And her orange. An orange and holy corn, mom. Yeah, I told my mom. <laughs> Holy corn, Mom! I hope we're not eating all of this for lunch today. That is a lot of corn. Yeah, five tons. Is that a lot of corn? Yeah, I like eight tons. So, in the car, I had Porter put these on, and it worked like a charm. And I have eight. Porter has been biting his nails for a long time, and we've been trying yeah, to I break the habit. <laughs> we've been trying to break the habit. And I found that that worked pretty well. He didn't bite his nails in the car on the way up here. Hello, baby cake. <laughs> that was so funny. My mom is sitting here chatting with me, and out comes Lucy. Mom didn't even know she was back hiding back there. You just crawled out. She just popped her little head out and goes, <laughs> It was so cute. Lucy! Oh. You know, you go without singing her, oh, she's double. It. I know, I know. Oh, she's so cute. They grow so fast. Oh, you're so cute. I want my cute, Mom. I want my cute. Mmm. Get over here. Let me get you. Mmm. <laughs> I was out and about today doing business. I know it was not YouTube or cookbook stuff, but it was my business. Like over a year ago, I signed up to be a distributor for a company, and I don't normally do that kind of stuff, but I really did like the product, so I'm just gonna show you here real quick. You have probably seen this around my house. I've got one downstairs, and I've got one up here. But this is called an Airmoji, and what I like about it is it is not a candle, it is not, it doesn't melt wax, but it still makes my house smell good. So I will just show you what it looks like on the inside real quick. So I'm just gonna pop the lid off real quick, and it has these scent pods that you put in there, and then a little like a motorized fan in there, and that's how the scent gets distributed throughout the house. And this one smells really good, it smells like, um, Cinnamon bears almost, like a Christmassy smell. And so I like them because they are not messy or dangerous. A lot of times strong scents bother me and so I like this because I can put it on for like 20 minutes on, an hour off, or 10 minutes on, an hour off. I can kind of set the timer on the app on my phone. And so through Bluetooth, it can turn on and off by itself, which is why I have really liked having these around. So if you are interested, you, I will leave a link in the description below. Mom, we have to go to the dentist. No, we're not going to the dentist. Come here, let me see your mouth. Show them your wiggly tooth. Is it pretty wiggly? Mm -hmm. Your gum up there is pretty like red. Have you been wiggling it all day? Oh, Cooper, thank you for being so nice to him. Does it smell good? If I had one with mine with me, I'll give you one. Hey, Emma, do you know how to make your mouth feel better? How? Eat snow cones. You want to go get a fun snow cone? But are we going to get a snow cone machine? No, it's a little bit different. Like an actual snow cone? Yeah, it's like an actual snow cone. Like, mm -hmm. we didn't get enough snow cones in the summer, so we chose a day in the cold winter with snow on the ground to go get fun snow cone. Oh, don't slip on that. Be so careful. Don't slip on it. It's so slippery. You gotta walk, okay, buddy? Just don't slip on it. We are at Bahama Bucks. 
Bahama Bucks is doing a free snow cones today, so I thought it would be the perfect day to bring the kids along, and this is like no joke in here. This is the ultimate snow gun shack. This is not just like your little, little one in the grocery store parking lot that I used to work at when I was like 15 years old. This is the ultimate deal. Ew, ew, oh. oh my gosh, I almost, you almost tipped that over with your head. Don't eat off of the table, that is so gross. Ew! Here, let's use a napkin, okay? There we go. I got home from school and I get to eat Julie's leftover Chinese food from today. So I'm actually not complaining. I love Chinese food. But I snuck into dessert early. I got the fortune cookie and I read it and I will tell you what it says. Does that bring bad luck? If you, if you read your fortune cookie? I don't know. I hope not because I'm going to tell you anyway. So it says rely on longtime friends to give you advice with your present question. Hmm, rely on longtime friends to give you advice with your present question. So my present question is, how am I going to survive a Ragnar race? That's my question. How am I going to do that? Ragnar is a uh, relay race that you do with a bunch of people and it goes a long, long ways. I'm not that strong of a runner. So I'm going to rely on a good old friend and that is Davey. From April and Davey, they are actually giving us one of their treadmills. So tonight, I'm running over there. I'm going to rely on my longtime friend to help me with my question. How am I going to train, especially in, this, in the winters of Utah where it's all snowy? It's hard to run in the winter. So this is the perfect answer for that question. So we're on our way, Davey. Ready or not, here we come. All right, so we had to rent a moving truck. Apparently, this treadmill that we're going to get from them doesn't collapse at all. I brought my little buddy along with me. You already had a bath and everything. I like bringing the kids along for stuff like this, for stuff like when we go to help someone move. It just shows them that, you know, there's other things out there besides just playing and doing whatever you want to do. We got to help, we got to work. And so it's a good opportunity for me because I get to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with them to talk to them. But it's also a good opportunity for them to see kind of what mom and dad do in the real world. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? What would be a trip with my boy without stopping for a little treat, right? Look at that smile. Are you gonna eat them while we drive? No. Landon. Two reasons why I'm not happy this is here. Why? First reason, I feel like our house is kind of, well, I know our house, it's, we live in a small place and I was just saying I need to get rid of more stuff and stop bringing more stuff into the house. This is huge, it takes up our whole basement. And the second reason is, now I have to work out. If I'm gonna have this in the house, I have to actually put it to use. Yeah. And who wants to do that? No, just kidding. I really do need to like get back into shape. I have gone way too long after having Lucy to not do anything. Did you tell them whose treadmill this was? <laughs> this was originally Ellie and Jared's. They got it, gave it to April and Davey, and April and Davey gave it back to us. So, kind of funny. Yepers. So I'm gonna put lots of miles on this. Okay, well, I'm gonna go grab my running shoes and I'm gonna go throw some miles onto this and end the night. Are you really gonna run on it tonight? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I just ate I just ate a crumble cookie. No, I will save it for another day. 